I upload this to YouTube, so I kind of want to like get a good introduction going. So, yeah, let's talk about BB Tag and Tier List, JP versus USA Tier List. So, you guys have probably seen a few Tier Lists be posted. I, I, I listed some here that I thought were um, pretty notable. I, probably all the notable Tier Lists that I saw. Um, I'll take a look at Tempest Tier List. And you can kind of see, I mean, this is from the beginning. Um, but Tempest reposted this like a week or two ago and basically said, you know, everything's still the same. My initial impressions are correct. The Pildas moved up to from C to B plus tier. Okay, that's that's fair, right? Um, and then you compare this tier list to something like Noble's tier list. And you'll see it looks totally different. Um, hey, Lita, how you doing? Mainly from, as you guys can see, this character right here, Hilda. She went from bottom five to top five, right? <laughs> but there's also some notable differences. Um, you know, you look at Jubei's really high in um, Tempest's tier list. Um, you know, Heart's really high in uh, Noble's tier list. And there's also like other JP tier lists, right? Like, so I, I picked Kosai's just because um, it was a little similar format kind of have like six tiers very similar to uh tempest's yeah so people think jp tier list is whack some you know i'm sure everyone in japan thinks america tier lists are whack yeah it's pretty interesting right so this is a lot to parse through you know just you can look at it by first glance and you can see there's obviously something completely different between the two tier lists right um you know besides hilda being top five so i tried to make this into math equation Right? And so I have all this data here to kind of explain the difference between JP and USA and how they value characters. But let me kind of just say my approach, right? So I picked three tier lists. I picked Kyose's, uh, Nobles, and Tempest's. And I, my thoughts are very aligned with Tempest's, so I gave him more weight. It's like, it's like you have my tier list and Tempest's, I just like combined the two. Um, I honestly thought, yeah, kid or plays, thanks for the follow. I honestly thought, like, here's here's the only differences I saw between my tier list and Tempest's tier list. I, I would move Hilda up. I mean, pretty much everyone would move Hilda up except the you know, top USA players. I would move Rachel up. You know, Rachel's pretty. I think Rachel's like top 10, top 15, but, you know, she, she's only A tier on Tempest's list. Um, Yosuke, I think she's he's really strong. And Susan, I moved down. Um, just because I think his neutral is kind of lacking. But other than that, I completely agree with Tempest this year list, right? So I wanted to compare our opinions in USA with opinions in Japan. And so how I did this, so let's take Kyosei's for example. So you see Azrael has a score of 2 here. Um, I basically ranked everyone on how high they're ranked. So everyone in the top tier would be, um, they would get a 1. Everyone in S plus would get a 2. Everyone in S would get a 3. Everyone S minus would get a four. Everyone A would get a five. Everyone B would get a six. And you know, I put Kanji in there just for simplicity of calculations. I gave him the six as well. And so you can do that. You do that for all characters, and that's what these two rows are. And then you combine them, right? And I also assigned it for Tempest's column as well. And what you can do is see you could subtract the JP combined versus Tempest and see how much of a difference there is. Now, there's that's a, this is a little misleading because... <laughs> yeah, Game Wizard, I see you. Um, it's a little misleading because, you know, someone that has only five people on their last tier compared to Tempest that has a lot more people on their last tier, you know, Noble and Kyosei's bomb tier would be ranked higher, right? Or different tiers would be ranked higher. So you have to weigh them, right? Basically, so everyone gives the same score. And that's what this is. These columns are just weighting everything. I weighed it compared to Tempest. So that the total scores equal the same amount, right? So you see this equals 182. This equals 182. This equals 182, right? And then, you know, you subtract the two. And you get this. And the way I did it is... I subtracted the yeah, JP combined minus Tempest's and anything that had a one or greater. Yeah, yeah, no, that's almost done, I promise. 
anything that had a one or greater went to that made this chart, right? So there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen characters that made the chart as they have difference between JP and America. And so if you look at America and I it's pretty obvious looking to me why USA rates them higher, why Japan rates them higher, but I'll kind of go through each one. So Jubei, you know, we have um, Elyon, who's probably the best Jubei, maybe maybe the guy that made top 8 EVO 2019, uh, Manasuke, he's very good Jubei, but we, I think we in America rate um, this character very highly. I'm going to turn off my Granblue music. We rate this character very highly because of Elyon, right? I think he's really strong. He can force CC from pretty much anywhere on screen. Um, seals plus assist is really good. Kind of just breaks neutral, right? I think that's a very um, underrated aspect of him. And his he just craps out damage too. And he has pretty much unreactable high-low, especially online. I can see why this character's up here. So Yu, I don't understand what kind of crack Japan is on. But Yu is clearly, you know, A tier or S tier. I mean, this they completely buffed him. Um, he has pretty much endless block strings. Uh, <laughs> you know, EX Zero buff, EX um, Lightning Car has got buffs, so it's actually safe on block. You know, this character definitely got a lot of stuff going on. Good for him. And then uh, Yang, you know, we have Shinku. Shinku is the Evo champ, the Arc Revo champ, and Yang is on that team. Yang got tons of buffs from when he when Shinku won. So it's it's kinda only natural to see us play some really high. Um yeah, Narukama, I I definitely agree with all these placements, right? USA values higher. Um S. So I think it's more a Tempest thing. <laughs> I think you know, S assist are still really good. S got some buffs in this last patch so she can combo up overhead solo. Um you know, I th I think she is pretty good. Um, Japan doesn't really see the value. Japan usually puts her in bottom tier, and usually because I've heard people say that she's a worse Yumi, right? And that that could be the case. And not really anyone's put in the work with us, so I can kind of see why Japan would put her lower. Same thing with Susano. I mean, we got fame over here, and that's probably why um you know Susan's a little higher than how he is in Japan. Yeah, S definitely got power creep by Yumi. But Susano does have some good points, right? He He's a walking unblockable. He craps out damage. Um, but he doesn't have neutral. Um, let's just say his thing. Now, I guess is a really surprising character um, to me. Because one of the things that I see when I look at the USA characters versus the Pan characters, the USA characters are a lot less technical, right? They're all really simple characters. Yu's a simple character, Yang's a super simple character, S is a simple character, Susan is a simple character, Mitsuru is a simple character. Um, yeah, so Goki, this is not the tier list. I'll show you the tier list after this. But this is just the differences between how what USA rates higher and what Japan rates higher. Yo, Price, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it, man. Hope everything's well. But yeah, so I guess is another one. Um, I'm kind of unsure about I guess, right? Because you took away a gun, and that's I should get emotes. <laughs> I'll figure that one out for sure. Um, but yeah, they took away I guess is a gun, so neutral's way worse, right? And so a lot of Japan tier lists have her a lot lower. Um, but she craps out damage, right? She does tons of damage. I don't know if it's a bug or what they did, but. Um, you know, combos that just use her Origa and the Crouch B, Stand B, they do so much damage. But yeah, her neutral is lacking. And, um, you know, I, I think USA values damage more, Japan values uh, neutral more, right? And so I can kind of see why I guess would be there. And Mitsuru, yeah, like I said, simple character, still very strong. I'm actually surprised Japan didn't rate her high. Um, but I guess I can kind of see it because everyone switched. <laughs> no one's playing Mitsuru over there now, right? Um, you know, I, then again, like all the Mitsu players, they either went on the Grand Blue, like Fenrich, or Kayami, I think he went on the Grand Blue too? I'm not sure what happened, but um, there's not, I don't see too much Mitsuru over there. So that's probably why he's down. And yeah, you know, Dachi Meta, of course. 
I don't know where she actually is. Like, I can't say whether Japan's right or America's right on this. I personally don't know. I think the meta needs to shake out a little bit more. All right. So every other character not on this list is pretty America and Japan has a pretty similar opinion, at least based on these calculations, right? No one was above a one. So let's look at uh, Japan, right? So the one thing I see is these are all mostly technical characters, right? I'd say Iziori, Yukiko, Rachel, Hilda, um, Neo, um, Heart. These are probably some of the hardest characters in the game, right? And so <laughs> I'm guessing they probably value potential a little bit more than we do here in America. Um, but yeah, so Iziori, you know, she got crazy buffed. We don't really have anyone playing her offline. I mean, no one's playing offline right now, but other than like Chop Suey and a couple other players, um, there's really not too many people playing Iziori at a high level, right? Um, so, and they have Shige over there. Shige is still destroying tournaments. It's kind of obvious to see why Japan values Iziori a little bit more. Um... Yeah, Yukiko, so, you know, America rates Yukiko probably in bottom 10. You know, Japan usually has her out of bottom 10, right? And I think that's pretty interesting. Um, I personally, I've played Dark Des before, and every time I see the stuff he does with this character, I, I personally totally agree with what Japan says about Yukiko. I think this character is ridiculous. She's just ridiculously hard as well. She's super, super hard. Um, so Merkava... You know, Merrick kind of thinks Burkava hit went to shit tier <laughs> after uh, he got nerfed. And I kind of think so, too. I don't think he went to shit tier, but he went to, like, definitely not above mid tier, right? Um, Japan probably still sees a little bit of value in him. He does have some niche comps. Um, he's pretty good zoning out and all that, so I can see why he's there. Um, Ori, I actually, this one surprised me a bunch, but I'm going to blame... Uh, okay, this isn't going to be too long of an explanation, so I, I or I would switch it. But yeah, good call, Pris. Actually, can I switch it real quick? I'll switch it while I talk. I'm not very good at multitasking. Um, but yeah, Shige plays Orie Iziori. It's pretty unnatural, yeah. It's pretty natural combination that you would rank your, your very strong players, you'd rank their characters higher, right? And so yeah, you have Dora with... Dora's like probably the best mark in the world um i can see why they do that too let me change the um game real quick all right i think it should be good and then neo and heart um you know japan's actually always rated heart strong like this isn't a 2.0 thing this is a even back in 1.5 we're all like why is japan rating heart so high <laughs> where are all these godlike hearts that are destroying everyone and we still don't know right um I still don't know. Um, we got Duck Hater here. Duck Hater is doing really well in online tournaments. Um, but, you know, America tends to put heart in like mid tier. Japan tends to put heart in like high tier, right? And then Neo, you know, we think Neo is like bottom tier here. Uh, we got Culpable now, and Culpable is really good with Neo. And I could see her, I could see Neo, like, she still feels like she has untapped potential. It's really funny to see because I know Shinku played Yang Neo at the at the beginning of 2.0 and was like Neo's bottom five and Yang is top five. And then there's some JP tier lists that have Neo above Yang. <laughs> it's really funny. Like I don't understand where it's such a disconnect comes into play there. I don't know where she's truly meant to be. I could see her being above like bottom five for sure though. Just people need to put in the work. Yeah, unsafe, we have him too, but he plays a lot of characters, and I don't think that's like his main focus. And then Rachel and Hilda, I mean, Hilda's destroying online. Rachel's super technical, we don't got too many players. Um, I can see both of those. And those are, the values much higher section are ones that like, there's a big dis disparity between the, between the uh, American tier list and Japan tier list. Yeah, so I totally agree with that, Althea. So, NA definitely prefers explosive characters, and JP prefers zoning and neutral control. And I think JP has a slight tendency towards, like, 
valuing the potential of a character. Where like Susano, his his potential is pretty much tapped out like already, right? Um, you his potential's tapped out because like they're pretty basic characters at the core. Where you see someone like Yukiko or Rachel, they're so complex, and there's no one that's like I would call them a master because they have so much um they need to do. Like there's so much optimization that can be done with these characters that it's there's more room to grow, right? And I think Japan recognizes that, and they see that. All right, so that's pretty much all I got on the meta part, um, at least the graphic part. I do want to take you to some more spreadsheets. So <laughs> and I swear it's it's not that much math, and it's pretty cool to look at. So if you look at some of the close calls, right? So anyone with a minus it favors Japan. Anyone with a plus favors um, America. And actually, let me share this if you guys want to play around with the data. Um, copy link. Yeah. All right. So I'll share this in the chat in case anyone wants to look. There's a lot of data here. Um, but yeah, anyone with a minus is Japan favor. So silica, like, you know, minus 8.8, .8, that's pretty good. Um, definitely you got silica up there. Hazama, another technical character, Japan favors. Makoto, I mean, Makoto's just a crapshoot. Like, like if you go too far close to zero, you start to get, like, statistical noise. And I, I don't really want to go into that. Platinum, they favor more. Noel, they favor more. Um, who else we got? That's interesting to look at. Elizabeth, they favor more. That's pretty interesting. Yosuke, they favor more. We favor Carmine more. I guess that makes sense. A lot of people put Carmine in top tier in America. Mika, we favor more. I blame Tempest for that one. Wall, we favor more. I blame Tempest for that one. Um, I somehow forgot Ruby. That's interesting. Yeah, so America favors Ruby more. I, I don't know how I missed that, but I guess that makes total sense because we have Shinku, right? America favors Akatsuki more. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to check on some characters, it looks like America favors Weiss a little bit more. Um, but we're pretty close on that. That's I would just look at noise there. The one thing I did think was interesting is America likes Blake more. Oh, that's barely nothing though, so never mind. Disregard that. Um, and then this is just to kind of show you there is a difference between Japan and America. So I compared the two Japan tier lists. That is um, this column right here. And to see what the difference was. And you see there's a difference of 38 points. And then I compared the Japanese tier list with the American tier list. And there's um, you know, more than a 10 point difference on most of these. And this doesn't seem like that much. It seems like only a 20%. But you have to think because there's weighting, there's automatically a point difference between all of them. So it's actually pretty significant, right? Um, so pretty cool. So that brings us to the last spreadsheet you guys will see. <laughs> I swear it's, uh, it's, but yeah, so I ranked every character from top to bottom. So I combined the American tier list and the Japanese tier list, and I combined them into one total tier list, right? And so it's basically in rank from strongest to worst, right? And so I think this is like, Partly, like, if you combined our metas, this is potentially what a tier list would look like. I'm not saying it's right, because, you know, America's probably right about some stuff. Japan's probably right about some stuff. But this is what it would look like. Um, does the safe still play Weiss Kuro? I think a little bit, but I've mainly been seeing him play um, Kuro Silica and a couple other teams. But yeah, Dachi, Akihiko, Chie, Seth. Basically, America and Japan thinks they're the strongest. Yumi's just a little bit below that. Carmen's a little bit below that. Ruby, Mitsu, Natoke. A little bit surprising that people would put Natoke into the top 10, but I can kind of see it, right? You got, what's 24 Bond? 24 Bond's really, really strong. Um, I could definitely see Natoke being top 10. He has a great 4P. Yeah, so this is, um. so top 10 would end here, right? Top 10 ends here. And then, yeah, so you would be 11th, right? I guess I can do this, right? 
don't know if this works in Google Sheets. Yeah, so you would be ranked 11th. Hockaman Blake. Blake's pretty high, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, I, 24 bond is 100% the reason Hockaman and not a are so high. 100%. Yang is 15. I think that's like a fair placement for Yang. I kind of like that placement. Maybe I put her just slightly higher. Like, I think Yang's a better character than Blake. I don't know if I... But Yang's... Blake's, like, definitely in my top 20. Akatsuki's pretty high. Azriel's pretty high. I'm actually surprised Azriel's that high. But, you know, you guys see more Azriel Adachi. That team's really strong. It's probably one of, like, the better Adachi teams. Yeah, I agree, Price. I don't think Yang is worse than Blake or Haku either. But again, that's just the difference between JP and US, right? US thinks that um, you know, Yang's a lot stronger than JP. Azrael Adachi want ESL Asia. Oh no, um, Pisa Mayo. Oh no, no, Pisa Mayo want ESL Japan. I don't know who won ESL Asia. But yeah, Pisa Maya playing that Hilda. Yeah, so th maybe this is like where Hilda's true um, placement is, right? 24th, kind of like mid-tier. I kind of agree with that. I don't think she's like super high. I don't think she's super low, right? Natsu Shiragani, around the same. Jubei, around the same. Rachel. Now, I, I totally disagree with this. I totally disagree. I think Rachel's like top 10, top 15. I think she's so, I think she's so cheap. But hey, this is what it came out at, so I can't complain. Uh, we got Ragna, Hyde, Wald, Iziori, Hart, Igus. I still don't know. Oh yeah, so Tempest. So I took a bunch of tier lists and basically combined them. And I came up with a combined JP. JP versus USA tier list. <laughs> Dills Chan, I see you. I'm only for a minute because work, but fuck Japan list. Yeah, so I compiled the P and America tier list, and this is what I got. <laughs> yeah, so Tempest, this is like what I actually got, right? So I, I did the math to determine who USA values higher and who Japan values higher. Um, so yeah, America values Narukami a lot higher than Japan. Let's put it that way. In the combined tier list, because the combined tier list takes your thoughts, Tempest, and my thoughts. Um, you, is a, you is 11th. So that's pretty good, right? If you combine the two tier lists. I think it makes sense. I don't know. I mean, personally, I'd probably put you a little higher, but I could see Japan and America agreeing on something like this. Um, so we got Weiss, Orie, Mai, Merkava. Merkava's low. <laughs> it's so weird to see him so low after he was like, people are putting him in top 5, top 10 in the last patch. Is Yang lower than you? So in the combined, yeah, Yang is 15, Yu is 11. Uh, Merkava, Silica, Hazama, Doa, S, Nu. Gord, Yukiko. So who's the worst? Kanji, right? <laughs> no, it looks like it's a two-way tie between Tager and Kanji for the worst characters. And then you got Elizabeth, Platinum, Makoto. These would all be, you know, in a traditional tier list, these would all be last year, right? Yeah, so pretty interesting. Any questions on, like, the methodology or anything you guys don't quite understand? Uh, I think I pre went through pretty much all the data. I know um, there's an exhibition starting at 6, so I kind of wanted to swing it over their way when they get started. I don't know if they're started yet, though. But I'll, I'll come and uh, hang out until they get started. Okay, looks like they're just preparing, so I'll, I'll hang out for a little bit more. Yeah, so how did I convert the tier list to numbers? So let's take Tempest's, right? So you see how Tempest has six tiers on his? Um, so if you sign everyone in tier one, 
a 1. Assign everyone in tier 2 a 2. Assign everyone in tier 3 a 3, 4, 5, and 6, and so on, right? And that's what I did. I had to do it manually. It maybe took like uh, an hour or so for everyone. And this is what I got, right? So you can see Adachi has a 1. Everyone put him as 1. That's why like Adachi's number 1 on the um, combined tier list, right? I take care of blue. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I did it. And then if you subtract the total, you get like a combined list. And I, I did some weighting. I did some extra addition. But this is the simple version right here. And that's and basically the way I did it was how I got this chart was anyone that had a big difference in the numbers got put on this chart. <laughs> Excel 101. I use Excel all the time at work, so I'm pretty used to it. That engineering life, you know. But yeah, any other questions on this um, before I host it to? It's not really that much math. <laughs> you just it's just adding and um, averaging. the The hardest thing I did was weighting, um, just so every every tier list was valued the same. That's probably the the only hard part of it, and not even that's like. Not bad. But yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to upload this to YouTube and uh, may probably make it something a little bit easier to watch. It's probably like a half hour. Where's American points? So Tempest, no one's making uh, tier lists in America. So I used your tier list and I used my thoughts, which are pretty much the same thing, except this. And I combined it. And then I took the difference between your tier list, Gose, and then Noble's combined tier list. Yeah, I don't really have a tier list. Um, I, I got, I started to got lazy at a point, <laughs> but um, but yeah, that's kind of the methodology. Yeah, it's not, it's not as confusing. Susan down, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tempest, Tempest, Japan agrees with me. Japan agrees. Japan agreed with three out of my four, right? Hilda, I, I had Hilda up, Rachel up, and Susan down. Japan super agreed with two of them. Harsh, like, kind of agreed with the Susan. The only one they didn't agree with is the Yosuke. And if you look at the data, so this is the raw data I converted to the chart. Uh, where is Yosuke? Uh, I can't find Yosuke. Yeah, so they almost put Yosuke up to um, at the next year. Japan doesn't think that is so Tempest. I don't know, man. Susanoo is neutral. Like, once Susanoo gets the hit, it's pretty scary, right? But if you look at this chart, like, Japan values neutral very heavily, and they value technicalness and theory of strength of character. And Susano doesn't really have that. Like his neutral's not the best, right? Compared to some of these other characters. But yeah, Tempest, yeah, definitely feel free to check the archives. Yeah, it's pretty interesting putting it together. I just kinda did it for my um my own research just to see what um what each country thought was better. And you could like kinda go ham on this. I didn't go like that crazy, but you can start adding like Korean tier list too. I don't wanna like muddle it too much. But even they have some weird takes, right? They even have they have you up high and they have Hilda up high. Uh, who's right to say? Blitz tank is bomb too. That's a weird take. <laughs> oh yeah, Tempest. I um I took that into account. So I did see that comment. Actually, when you made that comment was what gave me the idea for this. But yeah, you see Hilda. I gave her a five instead of a six. So on your original tier list, she is a six, but now she's a she's a five. Dude, I don't know. I don't think tanks bomb too, but that's what the Koreans say. I don't know, man. But yeah, there's there's some other tier lists too. Like I didn't add Domi's, I didn't add Surumes, I didn't add Bojacks. You could go you could go pretty ham uh adding all the tier lists. It'd be pretty interesting to see, but that's a it's a lot of work for sure. Alright, I gotta see did they start yet? Oh, okay. So Rampage time started, so I'm going to host them. Guys, definitely check it out. It's an exhibition series. And uh, 
yeah any additional questions just tweet me or, or whatnot so thanks for tuning in guys appreciate it yeah i think season is really good because of his teams unblockables and reward yeah no i totally agree that's definitely the strong points so um e30 all right take care guys